Hello everyone, Grits here. Welcome back to Sniper Elite 4. In this uh, mini-series, we're going to take on the third mission of the game. Um, also, since we've been through two missions, uh, we're going to go ahead and take a little bit of time to uh, look at the upgrades. Uh, we've been gaining skill points this whole time, and uh, we can go try to spend them and see what's happening. Before we start that though, and uh, I'll go ahead and have the uh, white text guy go ahead and put a time on the screen if you just want to jump straight to the gameplay. But before we get there, I um, just wanted to talk to you guys for a second. I'm really happy the way uh, Mission 2 came out. I liked the continuity of playing the game from start to finish. And then uh, just chopping it up indiscriminately. Um, for the actual episodes so I think I'm gonna go ahead and do that today again um, the other thing was is uh, someone had commented about the number of cuts uh, one thing to keep in mind as a sniper you spend a lot of time behind the scope and if you're sitting there for 20 seconds just looking through the scope waiting for the perfect shot that's that's 20 seconds of boredom so I just cut that out and so I'm going to continue to do that but I just wanted to let you know why I do that. There's just times where you're sitting behind a scope sitting perfectly still. That's the life of a sniper. So um, yeah so let's go ahead and get started and take a look at the, uh, the skill areas. I believe those are under service record. Um, tutorials, ribbons, collectibles. That's not it. But let's take a look at that anyway. Um, so in the first mission, um, we didn't do too bad, 74%. Second mission, uh, only 36%. Uh, we did not get any letters during that mission. Hmm, I thought we had. Um, we did get some last letters, but we weren't too worried about searching everybody on that particular mission. Um, we were just trying to get through it. So, um, let's see. On this one, uh, we're going to still have our three eagles, duty rosters, sniper report. Two of them. So, it looks like we're going to be dealing with two snipers this time. Um, there's no nothing here for the radio men. Um, and, and actually that brings up uh, a thought. What I was thinking about doing is the next time we encounter a radio men, I want to save the game and then go ahead and play the rest of the mission. But then I can use that saved file to go back just prior to killing the radio men. I want to alert him and see what he actually does. How many troops he brings in? Is it a constant flow? Um, I, I thought that would be something interesting to uh, to take a look at. Um, so let's go back here. Maybe it was under loadout. Uh, let me go ahead and find it, and I'll get right back to you. Okay, so I uh, was looking around here a little bit, and I found a couple of items, but I'm not finding what I thought I was going to find. So, let's go ahead and uh, take a look at what I found here. Under the player loadout, because we are Corporal rank 6, um, looks like every 5 ranks you have this uh, uh, skill tree. So, if we go into the skill tree, because we've achieved this, we have two options. We can uh, get max heart rate, which increases our maximum heart rate. Or we can get uh, increased heart rate recovery. This will uh, recover faster. So, for example, when we're on the scope and we hold our breath and then we uh, take a breath, our heart rate will come down faster, uh, allowing us to take an extra shot. I think that's what I'm going to go ahead and take for this next uh, campaign. I also found that if we go into here on uh, this particular weapon, which is our Springfield, um, these are locked. 
and we need to unlock all of the upgrades first before we can get access to this but we did get seven coins from these missions so I think I'm going to go ahead and pay to unlock the Mosin um, we I really enjoyed that weapon the last go around uh, during the last mission um, damage is increased from the Springfield the muzzle velocity is down a slightly the recoil is better but the stabilized uh, stability uh, when on the scope is less we can zoom in further and our rate of fire is a little bit slower but I'm okay with that by using this weapon we'll go ahead and increase these uh, upgrades uh, scores unlock them and then once we unlock them we can probably work on um, some more skills uh, we also have this skin upgrade um, so in here we have items um, uh, the default skin uh, weapons original and then we have the uh, supreme award for your profici proficiency and then we also have the camouflage skin which we got because we got uh, we pre-ordered the game so if we clicked on that um, that's the weapon we would be carrying then and and I'm not sure if that does any in-game stuff. So I'm just going to go ahead and keep that. Under Upgrades, you can see here uh, with a little bit more clarity um, what they are and what you need to do to get the upgrade. So on Muzzle Velocity, we have to have a total of 10k kills. Uh, 10 kilometers worth of kills. That's a cumulative, not just a single shot because we know this thing... This game is limiting us to the actual range. On the zoom, um, we need to have 25 environmental exposed kills. I have no idea what that even means. Um, would that be like when we shoot the truck and kill somebody? Not sure. We'll figure that out. And then we'll get the better stability when we get 10 liver shots. Um... And then uh, here you get the mastery skin, which is 10 double kills. <clears throat> now, I know we've gotten three multi kills, but I don't know if it was on this weapon or the Springfield. So um, we'll just have to uh, just do some more damage and uh, see when those are going to unlock. So let's go ahead and unlock the Mosey. Uh, you sure you want to buy this item? Yes. So we cost us five coins, but we now have that access to that weapon during our initial loadout. So we get to take it into battle with us. And that is all right by me. Okay, so uh, let's go ahead... And finish our loadout here. Um, let's see. We have both of the mines. And both of the medical packs, which are the only things we have access to at this moment. I think, I think I'll save our points on that one. <clears throat> there are some pretty cool stuff we can get with points. Um, but I think I'd rather save that two points for now. Uh, we can pick up the mines and whatnot in-game. So uh, I'm not going to worry about any of that. So we got the Mosey. We got, uh, what are you? Uh, the Thompson and the well rod and as you know we can change that in game if we can find it so i think that is our plan so let's go ahead and jump in to the next mission okay so in this one it looks like uh the germans have a rail gun sitting right on top of the viaduct 
And so we need to uh, take that out in any means. What did it say? Uh, neutralize the railgun in any way you see fit. Also, it looks like uh, British intelligence uh, lost a recon reconnaissance plane. And we need to recover the film from that. So I'm sure the gun is our primary mission. This might be a secondary mission, but we definitely want to do it because we want the uh, the points. Um, what is this DLC? Oh, okay, yeah, we don't care about that. Um, that was uh, something that was came with the uh, the initial purchase, and we'll get that later. Um, actually, let's go back. What did I see there? So, looks like there's only six miscellaneous documents instead of ten. There are the two sniper reports. Looks like there's probably going to be four duty rosters, so there's probably four officers. And then our, uh, three, uh, eagles. And then the same five with all the letters. So, let's go ahead and, uh jump right in we'll go ahead and stay in normal mode so that we get the normal gameplay for this series and then like I said before we'll go back and uh, probably redo the missions under sniper elite but at that point uh, I won't have to show you all the content because um, we've already seen it it's just uh, when the shit gets deep we're gonna want to laugh at the footage so, let's go ahead and jump in. We're going to go with our loadout A with our new Mosey and start the game. Pretty. There's the gun up on top of the viaduct, so it's not it's basically two ways to get to it. This way and this way. Maybe we'll find a soft point on the bridge and blow it up. No intro, we're just going to start right there. Looks like there's a couple of partisans. Lucio. Ah, the uh, sniper. My name is Lucio. Yeah, Lucio from the Ruined Castle. The angel got there in the nick of time. Yeah, she, uh, she saved us. She's, uh, an angel of mercy, huh? Uh, judging by the number of dead fascists, I'd say, uh, more like the angel of vengeance. <laughs> Maybe, but, um, she only kills evil men, huh? <laughs> and, uh, what about you? You only kill evil men? But of course. <laughs> Okay. You know, it's Carl's job to do this, but uh, that was kind of a kind of a harsh conversation. You did well to find me at the castle. So it was a test to see if I'm uh, committed to your cause. Our people were about to be executed. Past experience suggests we can't always rely upon the allies. Is that what you want? A test? No, just Try honesty. Me. Very well. There is a railway gun parked on the viaduct. It's killed many of our people. If the Allies come this way, it'll kill many of your people too. There must be a reason you haven't taken it out yourselves. Consider it a challenge, Fadaban. Oh, she's so into you, Carl. If she survives, that uh, might produce an interesting uh, dynamic. What do we got? See, we're going to start with the medical kit right off. That's awesome. Um, we can change to the FNAB right away. And... Uh, the Ming... Manglicher. Yeah, okay. Um, looks like its damage is lower. Its muzzle velocity is lower. Its recoil is lower. It's a little more 
just slightly more stable. Um, max zoom is the same, but it's got a higher rate of fire. Um, and if that's the rifle throughout this mission, then we can always switch to it later. Let's go talk to headquarters, I'm sure. Yep. Red Fox calling Mother Hen. Red Fox calling Mother Hen. Receiving you, Red Fox. American observation aircraft crashed over Regalino. Design is top secret. Vital you find pilot and recover aerial footage. Also, destroy plane wreckage. Out. Red Fox out. That's interesting. Vox in uh, World War II? Okay, so... Um, is that the same dude? Did he just walk over there? No, that's not a partisan. Talk to Weaver. Carl, <laughs> I heard you uh, talk to an angel. Eventually. Listen now. I have an informant, a man named Dorfman, high up in the Nazi hierarchy. You trust him? Well, Dorfman's been a reliable source before now. Says there's a major ammunition cache in the vicinity of the viaduct. And you want me to destroy it? Need you ask. So damn coy. Okay, so, um, have we talked to everybody? It looks like it. 22 meters, so I guess that's where the mission is actually going to start for us. Looks like we're going to start with a little bit of repelling. Start mission. I love the cutscenes. They did such a fantastic job on those. Okay, platform with a the railway gun and deal with it. Question is, how? Now, <clears throat> this is one thing. Um, the first mission allowed us time to get all of the secondary missions. That's um, loud enough to disguise my rifle fire. Nice. Um, allowed us uh, the opportunity to finish all the missions before we got on the boat and left. The second one ended the second we completed the primary mission. So that's definitely something we need to be conscious of. Are we going to complete the secondary missions or not? So taking a look at the map, looks like uh, the pilot is down here. So we got to find the aircraft, the pilot, the footage, and destroy the, um, the plane. Down here we have... Oh, okay. So we have to find the pilot in here. Took some vital footage. We need to find the pilot so we can grab the film. Okay. Here we need to get the aircraft and destroy it. Uh, the vital footage. Uh, the Nazis analyzed the wreckage. They what? Uh, realize how advanced the American spy technology is. So that we need to take care of. The gun itself is here. We need to wreck the gun. Um, partisans have uh, repeatedly tried to take it out. Couldn't. Uh, yeah, okay, that's just talking about killing a bunch of people. Um, and then we have these, which are our secondary missions. Uh, German checkpoint. We want to get um there's another checkpoint that we're going to want to secure um destroy the nazi transport depot okay um uh, let's see here destroy the armored car um don't fancy the partisans chance against this armored car okay and then uh the ammo depot that the Brit wants us to get rid of. 
Okay, so that looks like everything on this map that we're going to need to deal with. Looks like these are actually entry points into this region. And then this is just fun. And then we can circle around and take care of the gun. So what I think we're going to do is we're probably going to go down and take care of the aircraft first. Then we'll get the film. Then we can come back around here, take out these checkpoints, and then take out the gun. Uh, let's hit uh, tab and look at our missions. So the gun is the only primary mission. Um, so we definitely want to do that last. Um, get the pilot, get the plane, destroy the ammo dump, or no, the transpo dump, the ammo dump, locate and destroy additional ammo dumps, find the cache. So there are other ammo dumps in the area that we have to find. They're not going to flag it for us. We have to clear the two checkpoints and destroy the armored car this sounds like fun so um let's go ahead and highlight the plane first because it looks like we can come down here this gray area is out of bounds for us so we'll come down here and then back up here and then we'll come around and actually we wanted to highlight that so that it was yellow on uh, E to track. Yeah, that way it'll be yellow on our screen and make it easier for us to find. It's right there, 370 meters.